everybody good evening thank you so much for joining me this evening my name is heather i am the songbird stamper and i'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from fairham in the united kingdom and we're here thursday night at 8 p.m uh, uk time um for a bit of live crafting i try and come live at eight o'clock every thursday night when i'm not working uh, the night shifts and uh, yeah I've, i'm off this week my uh my week off so I thought I'd hop on and share with you a little card that I made. I actually made this last week uh, and rather than share it kind of there and then I thought it'd be really good to show you. Um, it was a lovely layout I was uh, shown and I've kind of made it my own by changing up the colours, changing up the stamp set completely um, and I'm using something um, autumn-y. So I'm not Christmas today but you can easily replicate this into an autumn design. So hello and welcome. If you're kind of new here, thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is either on the catch up or live. Um, uh, I know a lot of people catch these uh, catch these videos up. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, and uh, I will spin you around and we'll get crafting, shall we? Hey, Amory. Nice to see you this evening wet and wild here in the UK. Um, it's not been as bad today as I thought it was going to be actually. Um, yeah, the storm, storm something is on the, on the kind of horizon. It's been, been, I think it might have passed now, but it's, it's chilly. It's chilly. I've got this gorgeous snood. I'll put it back on now. My sister-in-law made this for me. Look how cosy that is. Hey Shaz. Hey Katie. She made this for me a couple of years ago and I've been having a declutter and a clear out and I found it. And um, yeah, I've been wearing that. Very, very comfortable. I just, I probably ought to have had my slippers on because my feet are freezing, but they're downstairs, I think. So we're going to play with this stamp set. This is actually a retired stamp set, um, but it's still available on the clearance rack and uh, it's only six pounds. Six quid. I thought that was really good value. Um, so I've snapped it up i don't actually normally buy retired sets anymore i used to a lot but i'm just so busy now designing classes and doing these youtube lives and things um but yeah it's still available so you can head on over the link is in the description below um to grab this six pounds i there are dies that come with it but i don't think they're available so oh bless you no worries amory well hopefully hopefully you'll be able to catch up and i'll post the card i've been really lax at posting the cards that i've been making so my November resolution is to actually um, actually post them in person as well, but to post them online. I've had a bit of a bit of a month off, I feel like, and I'm kind of ready to get back to it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a create with this one. Beautiful, beautiful images. Storm Kieran. Yeah. Storm Kieran. That's it. OK, so I'm just going to randomly start stamping, I think. Um, so we've got the beautiful pumpkin and the beautiful flowers and um, I'll show you the layout once we kind of get going. Let me grab in some cardstock. I probably should use scraps, but I don't know if I've got any. Katie, you're joining us all the way from Amsterdam at the moment. You've had it and it it was awful, was it? Yeah, well, we had a really rough night, I think, last night. Um, but I woke up this morning and I thought, oh, actually, no, not as bad. It was not really that windy or rainy. I went out, I had an appointment this morning and I thought, oh, if it's really bad, I probably won't go, but um, I, it would have incurred a cancellation fee. So I thought, well, I will. It's not bad. And anyway, yeah, the roads were fine. Driving was fine. Uh, last night, I think it would have been a different story. Weather is horrific here in the Netherlands. Oh, bless you. Ew, is that why you're still there, is it? You can't actually, the airport, wow. So I'm just going to stamp three of these. This is just memento. Oh, that one's kind of, oh, that'd be fine. We'll cover that up. And all of some of them are going to overlap each other. Um, we're colouring with alcohol markers. So need to be up at five. Oh, bless you. You're not getting to sleep this early anyway, Katie. We'll be done. We, we, only, we only kind of stay on for an hour. So you'll be done by 10 and then you'll be able to go to bed. 10 your time. You're an hour ahead, I think, aren't you? And we're going to stamp two of these. Hello, Carol. Nice to see you this evening. Thank you for joining us. Love my Thursday, Thursday lives, although I did nearly forget again. I've had such a chilled out week. I've really not done an awful lot at all. I've, um, I've been watching, Stace, watching um, 
a lot of kind of TV on my laptop and I've done some designing for classes and things like that. Um, but I was watching Stacey Solomon's Declutter Your or Sort Your Life Sort Your Life Out, as she so eloquently puts it. And uh, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of decluttering, which feels good actually. Getting some of my drawers sorted in the bedroom. So to colour these pumpkins. I have got Cajun craze and um, pumpkin pie. So I'm just going to use, I think it was Cajun craze anyway. I'm just going to do a little test there. Yeah, I think it was. Um, so just kind of round the edges. Who's got this pumpkin? Look, don't go outside the edges. Stay, stay in the lines if you can. Um, who's got this pumpkin set from last year, I think it was. And I'm just going to go round the, round the base. Come, come around here around the top. It's just going to give us a bit of shading. I don't really have much. I was saying to someone the other day I can struggle with uh, crafting in the autumn um, because it's that kind of in between. We're not really in the summer um, but we're not really in the winter either. Again, stay in the lines. I'm not doing very well tonight. Um, I don't really have many autumn sets. So now I'm going to come in with my dark pumpkin pie. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, I'll get, I will treat myself to a nice autumn set. And just blend out those Cajun craze lines and then come up a little bit further, come out a little bit further and come up a little bit further. So we're creating that blend from dark to light. Exhausted, mega late last night at the social and you were sorting out, oh, bless you. Bless you, bless you. Russ is going away soon. And um, I don't know. I, one way I look forward to it, but he's away for 10 days again. Um, he's off to sunny Singapore, so I think he's quite excited. Um, but yeah, I do. I can struggle when he's away, which is unusual. I never, ever thought I'd say that. Like, if you knew me kind of six years ago, um, I didn't, didn't kind of emotionally lean on anybody. Uh, so it's really unusual for me to miss anybody. It's not not a really co a concept that I'm used to. So it took me by surprise the first time he went away when I missed him. I actually struggled with him being away. I am just going to come up these lines here. It doesn't really matter which side of the, the line you do. You could even do both both sides because they do. Pumpkins kind of tend to dip into those ridges. But we're just putting some darker areas. Yeah, 10 days, quite a long time. And then I'm just going to go over this. I'm going to try using the um, brush end. I don't normally use the brush end, but for some of these bigger areas, it can just be a little bit easier. Just never want to push too hard, but my end, the end of mine is already frayed, so I'm actually just using this little bit here. And I'll do my blending first by rubbing quite hard and then just go over the whole lot in one swoop. And that'll give us that lighter area in the middle. I don't feel like you get as good a blend as if you were to use the bullet tip because you can push a little bit harder, I think. And sometimes it needs that rubbing motion to get the blend. But I, think my, I think I might need a new one. I've just got an order in today as well, but... I never really know with the blends until they've kind of gone. It's a bit late at that point. There we go. Just popping in and caught you live. Ah, oh, hey, Kayla. Nice to see you. Thank you for hopping on. It's a bit fortuitous when people just kind of land, land across it. It is, it is six pounds, Kayla. I don't know where you are in the, where you are in the kind of world, but here in the UK, this is six quid on um, the Stampin' Up site. I'll put the link in the description below because I thought that was a cracking deal. Ah, bless you. Thank you, Katie. I've, I've got a lot to do, so I'm hoping I'll be all right. And then I'm working for some of it as well. But, um, that's a kind offer. Thank you. I've managed to get him to show me. Um, we've set the lights up, so if I'm out and I come back home, the lights will be on, and we have got automatic lighting, which is good. Nothing worse than coming home to a dark, empty house, is there? 
So, yeah, if anybody is in that situation, I recommend you get the automated lights. And then when you pull up on the driveway, all the lights come on. It's quite nice being able to come into. And we just basically um, got some Google plugs. So we've got some automatic plugs and we plug lamps into them. So we haven't like gotten a proper, proper kind of everything hardwired in. Oh, yeah, have a look. I, I do know this was definitely on our clearance rack, but I have a look, see if it's on your clearance rack. Um, might have been because pumpkins, it depends how much they've ordered, I guess. I think pumpkins are quite a British thing, are they? I don't know. You guys would be able to tell me, I'm sure. Pumpkins are a British thing or do we kind of, and, and America, but I mean, kind of, I didn't know if the rest of Europe and Australia was as big on pumpkins. I have to post in my, um, uh facebook group i've got a vip facebook group where i post extras and i don't think i've posted it in there but we uh, i will do we russ and i did our halloween pumpkin carving on monday night and we did a cute little cat and we called her tabitha so she's um out in the garden at the moment she survived the storm which i was very pleased about <laughs> right i broke up i said russ i was really worried about tabitha last night he's like what that you weren't worried about the house. I thought, nah, I thought the house would be fine, but I thought she might have rolled off the table outside. <laughs> I will be able to, no, I will, he, he monitors the heating even when he's away. So, um, but he, he is very good. It's lovely. When, when the sun's out, he puts it on and he will be as well when he's, even when he's working. You can hear that, just that beep of the heating and he'll, he'll be putting it on for me if it's sunny enough. He's not a control freak. He's absolutely lovely. Anybody kind of listening into that is going to be like, oh, my God. But no, he is lovely. It's just, oh, this is going to run out. I don't know if this is going to survive a third pumpkin. I might have to look in my box and see if I've got another one. Let me look in my magic box. Hey, Louisa. Nice to see you. Okay. I've got a little magic box of extra blends. I don't think that's it. Actually, hang on, I've got four boxes of extra blends. What is going on here? I've got, those are old ones. They're old ones too, that's pale papaya. Maybe I need a declutter in my craft room too. And then these are spare blends. Mm, it's not looking promising. Cajun, Cajun craze. What's this one? Petal pink. Okay, we have to make it last. You really need to have a colour swatch with your blends to work out what actually he's ordering because yes. They run out before you order more, hundred percent. I don't last time I did do a colour swatch though, um for exactly that reason, I thought I'll, I'll work out which ones are running out. But it, honestly, it's so difficult to tell because it's almost like they work, work, work until they don't. And um, you don't really get an awful lot of pre-warning with them that they're going to run out, sadly. So, it, um, yeah, it can be a little bit annoying when you're halfway through a project and all of a sudden the pen's gone. But I can normally eke out just enough to finish it, unless it's a mega project. I just bought a pencil case. Um, it arrived today from Amazon. I'll show you all in a minute. That dreaded Amazon word. Um, to store all of my coloured pencils in, because they've been in a tin. And um, I actually really struggle when they're in a tin, and I've not been using them for that reason. So I'm excited to get them all kind of out and in a case so that I can use them more. I was going to just buy more, more colored pencils in a case. And then I realized I could actually probably just buy a case. I didn't need any more. Maybe you'll just treat yourself and order backups of everything. That is a good plan. That is a good plan. They don't tend to run out if they're, <laughs> if they're sealed and not used. So you should be all right. They're not like, yeah, they don't have a best before date or anything. Wouldn't that be lovely to have a backup of everything? There's a few that I probably don't need backups of. I mean, Cajun Craze doesn't get used very often, but it's very useful here. 
Okay, so let's see if we can make this. I need a little bit. Um, but I do still want that blend. I'm being pushing it and pushing it to its limits. That's mossy meadow for you, is it? Yeah, there's a few colours in our uh, in our families, isn't there, that we're all like, nah, yeah, I probably don't need two of that one. I've never really been an autumn colours person. I love autumn colours out, like, in nature. Um, but for some reason in my crafting, um, I've never really got on with them. So this is just crumb cake. I'm just putting a little bit of crumb cake up here for the stem it's a really normally quite a light brown kind of stem so that should do us there but they look good don't they yeah they look really nice oh it could have a pumpkin with more yellow tones they do do absolutely do different um colors but i'm not sure it would work it's very wet you can see the paper's buckled that's where i put so much ink down that's probably why they've run out uh, so for the centre of the flowers here, I'm going for this light pumpkin pie again. And I'm just going to extend that out up some of the petals as well. So just colouring really roughly up some of these petals and the centre of the flowers should last. And then we can come in with the dark pumpkin pie and just do some spots. Just some dappled texture for those centers and then I've got dark daffodil delight I'm going to come up probably about halfway of the petals with the daffodil delight overlapping and blending that pumpkin pie that we put down it doesn't make a massive difference but it just does help deepen the tone a little bit and then we've got this Ah, oh, hey Becky, bless you. Ah, uh, oh gosh, that was a nearly a mistake. I nearly went in for the light old olive on my flowers. Thank you so much, Becky. I'm chuffed to bits. So if anybody doesn't know what Becky's talking about, um, she says congratulations for all my achievements. It was the Stampin' Up recognition evening last night, and um, I'm at, I'm blown away is uh, probably the right word um, to have achieved sixth overall in the country. So. Yeah, thank you so much to everybody who like literally supports my business in any way. That could be a like or a comment or a share or a purchase or you're in my team or joined a class or a course or, you know, just watch these videos. Honestly, every single thing helps me enjoy what I do. And when I enjoy what I do and share with you guys, then, you know, everything kind of comes together. And that's what's happened this year. So thank you. These little puff balls, I'm just, I'm not colouring the whole thing in. I'm actually just kind of doing a little semicircle all the way around. I don't know if you can see, just a little bit, just a little hint. Ah, oh, bless you all. Thank you. Honestly, just amazing year I've had. And it's, it's been awesome. And I'm looking forward to next year. But I'm definitely not expecting the kind of, to, to repeat this year. It's a... Uh, it's been a blast and uh, very, very grateful for everybody who's helped make that happen. So this is just old, um, old olive light. You could go in and add a bit of dark, but honestly, it's just, I teach this on my blending course. I'm just like, if it's too small for you to think about blending, if you think, how am I going to blend in that small space? Probably don't need to bother, to be honest. You could do, you could add a bit of that dark colour in. You're not really going to notice. So if you don't want to, you don't have to. And then those flowers I'm just going to do in Daffodil Delight light as well. I actually did them in dark on my piece, but Daffodil Delight dark is quite, it is quite a dark, dirty yellow. So I'll just keep that nice and vibrant. Ah, oh, bless you. Thank you, Kelly. It was lovely, wasn't it? It was really nice watching them. Yeah, yeah seeing how everybody's hard work's paid off. Yeah, really, really nice. I must say, I didn't watch all of the American. They have quite a lot. Um, they go from 50, I think. Um, but I did I did watch most of the other countries. So sorry, sorry to the US folks. 
Um, but we, um, Russ and I stop. My One of our kind of key things is nine o'clock in the evening. I don't work after that. Um, we come together no matter what we've been doing throughout the day. Uh, we come together and we just spend the last hour or two before we go to bed together. So, um, yeah, I watched the recognition as much as I could. And then I did go downstairs. But then today I had a look at the on at the kind of follow on lists as well, because they kind of put up the top achievers to begin with. And then you kind of search in the PDFs for kind of further down. And it was lovely to see some of my team being recognized in those lists as well. So it was really nice to give them a shout out this morning. Uh, thank you so much, Jill. Thank you. And hello to you as well. Nice to see you on here. I know you often catch the replays, but it's nice to see you live. So these are just literally just kind of really loosely coloured, I would say. There's not really a lot of thought goes into the blending, just working out that dark colour into light. But I'm only doing two flowers, notice. Um, not going to do three of those. I'll show you with a layout when it kind of all comes together. I'll do those flowers while we're here as well. There we go. Oh, I haven't done that. I haven't done these flowers. It's remiss of me. So uh, dinner tonight. If you uh, if you saw my personal Facebook profile, was an absolute disaster. Um, just while I'm sitting here colouring, not really doing an awful lot. Um, poor old Joe Wicks. We we follow a lot of his recipes. Oh, the list, um, the list, Shaz, is on the Demonstrator uh, website. If you are a demo, um, you can find that on the Demonstrator website um, under kind of in the spotlight. You might even be able to see it if you're not a demonstrator. I can't remember it off the top of my head, actually. Um, but if you go to the menu and then go in the spotlight, you'll see all the kind of lists down there. Um, the flowers are so pretty, honestly. Um, 7 a.m. for you. You're always up early with a cup of coffee. Oh, bless you. Yeah, it's not, it is nice to watch. It is good to watch. Um, but yes, our dinner tonight, poor old Joe Wicks, we cook a lot of meals to his meals. And tonight's was a quick and easy cottage pie. Um, but I can assure you, I, we've now learned that cottage pie is not something that should be rushed. Um, we both couldn't, we couldn't even finish it. It was not very nice. All the elements of cottage pie made in 15 minutes. Make of that what you will. So this has come up with dyes, but I don't actually have them. I should have had pizza. I know. Well, we did say we were going to have some chips afterwards, but I've eaten nearly a packet of um, um, Jaffa, Jaffa cakes instead. So we probably don't need any chips, but um, yeah, not a, not a great not a great dinner at all. <laughs> I won't be eating that one again. Well, I might actually because there's quite a lot left. I said I was going to try and slow cook it and give it a bit more flavour. It might be all right, but no, not for us. Okay, so now we've just got to fussy cut them out. So apologies if you don't like watching people fussy cut, but I don't have the dyes, so. They're not too bad to fussy cut. At least we've only got two of the flowers as well. So what's everyone's plans for the weekend? I am, oh, I'm doing an alcohol ink course tomorrow. I'm really excited. It's four hours. Thoroughly looking forward to it. Um, I've got alcohol inks. I've played, worked, whatever you call it, with them before. Um, but this artist she's a local artist uh, I've got some of her work Katie will remember because we went to the Winchester market together and it was by Gem Craft I bought some of her coasters and you may have got some too and she has now started up doing workshops so as soon as I found out and it's in the villa in the town I live in so um yeah I signed up to one and I'm really excited because it's tomorrow a bit of a birthday celebration for me so I should be eating lots of cake because cake is provided. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward. So I'll show you all my results as well. We're going to be painting tiles. Jaffa cake's probably better for you than chips. They have fruit in them. That's 10 US, I think, <laughs> Katie. But yeah, they taste good. And um, they feel lighter than chips. 
anyway so uh they, they may well be better for you to be honest who knows <laughs> granddaughter's first birthday amazing 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 yeah my birthday on sunday so very much we have nothing planned um because russ is going away he's a bit a little bit stressed over that so um but yeah you know it is what it is um we will probably do something over the weekend together um I'm sure we will. We went out on Monday to Chawton House, which is not far from us. That was lovely. I've just missed a little bit of green. I'm just going to fill that in. So we went out for a lovely lunch together. Felt very civilised, actually. Uh, he'd got quite a lot of leave left, so he took some time off. And we went up there for a nice kind of morning, afternoon. Off to watch your brother's production of Sweeney Todd. Oh, wow. Katie, that's amazing. Whereabouts is that? Is that, um, he's not far away from you, is he? Okay. Yeah, if you had the dies for this, you could just cut them out using the dies, but they're not too difficult to fussy cut. Especially the pumpkins. Pumpkins are really easy. It's just these flowers are a bit more intricate. And I'm, I'm at hockey to, uh, Saturday, so I'm really, really hoping it's not torrential rain like the forecast says. I don't mind playing in the rain, really. It's quite a nice sport. You don't want it too hot when you play hockey. It's such hard work. And um, so it's not too bad, but I also don't want to get absolutely drenched, really, if I can avoid it. My dad bought me a new stick and um, Astro boots, actually, Astro shoes for my birthday. And I did get them a bit early, bless him. And I uh, played with them last week and scored my first ever goal, which was awesome. Just right place, right time, I think. But, you know, I saw the ball coming towards me. I was like, oh, man, I think I'm going to have to do something. Um, and I kind of did what I thought was the right thing to do. And the goal went, the ball went in the net, which was great. So apparently I looked incredibly shocked afterwards. <laughs> so we'll see how I get on. But the uh, Astra shoes made a big difference. A lot more grip on the uh, on the surface, which I was actually really surprised by. I don't know why. I've just been in trainers up till now. So we go. The pumpkin's much easier to cut out. Look. Oh, in rugby. Cool. Not too far then. Although I must say, I don't even really know how long it takes to get to rugby. Yeah, so I did send Dad a, a message saying, got brilliant. And no, no, the stick I had before it was one I used to use at school. So, what, 20 odd years ago? And um, I hadn't realised quite how small it was until we went to the shop together and um, kind of tried out the size they recommended. And I was like, oh my God, it's enormous. So, yeah, it was a big difference playing with a proper sized yeah. stick rather than a small one i think it must have been at least an inch if not an inch and a half shorter my old one and all cracked and it was probably it was actually probably illegal it should have been taped up lots of chips in it and okay right so now for the layout we've got all of our elements coloured and cut and we can put the card together so we're going to grab some thick white and some basic white so the thick white card base just a standard size card base so for me that is 14 and a half by 21 so your cardstock is already 21 centimetres that way. So you just need to cut it along the long side at 14 and a half. And then we can score that in half at just over 10 and a half. I say actually just score it, score it at 10 and a half. It's just my trimmer seems to be like a fraction out. And if I score it at 10 and a half, it, it isn't right. So I have to come about half a millimetre over, which is slightly annoying. But once you know your trimmer and your kind of once you know your craft stuff and your kind of oddities about it all, you can figure it out, can't you? 
And then we're going to cut one piece of basic white cardstock to 5.7 by 12.7. And one piece of basic white cardstock, I think it's 12.4 by 5.4. I am kind of making these up, but just one a little bit smaller than the other. So 5.4 by 12.4 you basically hello Claire good evening to you you basically just want a small border so you can see the small border all the way around so that is just uh, three three millimeters difference between the two and then we're going to cut a piece of cardstock this is the pumpkin pie so we're going very orange today and um, we're going 14 by 10 and then this is going to go in the embossing folder I've got a beautiful I love this embossing folder it hasn't had as much use as it should have done and it's the wood grain and I quite like the wood grain going vertical so we're going to make a horizontal card so I'm just going to put that one in that way and I do really like the fact that you've got a line which you can use if you, because you want the wood grain or any kind of pattern that wants to be straight. You can put that. Super Mario ad in Dutch. <laughs> Love it. Which game was it? <laughs> so you can kind of line this up. I'm actually just going to put it down a little bit though, um, because I don't want the top bit. I want to get the new, is it the Super, Super Mario Brothers Wonder? Oh, hi Claire. I did say hello, but maybe you missed me. And we're just going to run this through the embossing uh, machine, the cut and emboss machine. And then we've got that lovely vertical wood grain pattern, which is lovely. And then I've brought in, these are great paper packs um, from Stampin' Up in all the kind of colour families, which I think are brilliant. This is Bright's. I love the bright colours, so this was a definite for me. Um, it just means that no matter what you're making, you've got a pattern paper to match it. So we're going to cut this to 14 centimetres. So I want the um, this kind of directional pattern coming down here. So I'm going to just shave a slither. It might be it might be a bit risky doing this. Just it can be really difficult to shave off just something so small. And then we're going to do that at uh, what size? Uh, five point something. So I think 5.3. 5.3 centimetres that way. So we've got all of our bits now. So we can move the trimmer out of the way. Grab in some form of a bone folder. I feel very posh when I say that, a boon, a boon folder. And then these are just going to lay straight down. So that one's going to go straight down on there. And that one's going to go over there like that. So just some normal wet glue. And that's going to put these down. I caved and ordered today the winter, no, not the winter meadow, the garden meadow. Uh, if you're a demonstrator, you'll know what I'm talking about, the one with the wheelbarrow. If you're a customer, then 7th of November, uh, we've got some more online kind of exclusive products. So what we mean by that is they're not in the catalogues, but they're new products coming out. Uh, oops, oopsie, oopsie. And um, it'll be fine, it's all going to get covered up anyway. And yes, yeah, so I ordered the wheelbarrow. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I've got something in mind for it. I was trying to resist, but I couldn't resist anymore. And I ordered the Be Mine suite as well. I really don't know why, because I don't probably need all that much Valentine's stuff. But the paper's just so gorgeous. And that will be coming out in the new spring summer catalogue. 
which is too early to think about because we haven't even really started thinking about Christmas yet. So I will not delve into that. But I do. I get really excited for the spring and summer catalogue because all the pretty papers, the spring papers. I'm hoping for some foiled papers, some bright colours. Right. That's going to go down kind of centrally like that on dimensionals. They got <laughs> they did get me. Uh, Katie wants the soda cans. Yeah, not not my style, but I can totally see uh, a lot of people really liking that one. Yep, I did try to resist, but I am um, I'm going to be making some seed packets for anybody who didn't see. I got made a seed packet for my birthday and um, I really like the idea. And I took it to a garden group that I go to and they want me to do a little class there. Um, so I'm going to be doing that with them and I thought that would be really nice so they could just grab some colored pencils oops and color the images in and it would go really really well with that so that's what I'm going to do with it so there was a purpose to my purchase which is what we have to be all about at the moment don't we so that's going to go flat down like that then what we're going to do I don't know if this is going to take me 25 minutes so I haven't got any more ideas up my sleeve um, we're going to um, put this pumpkin down, kind of something like this, maybe a bit lower down. I'm just copying my design, so I like to have one kind of made up. Maybe it needs to go more centrally. And that one's going to go over there, and that one's going to come down there like that. These two are going to go on dimensionals. Gorgeous, gorgeous design on that pumpkin, though, isn't it? Beautiful coloured in as well. So I just put three dimensionals on the back. Don't need a great deal to hold it up. However, just on the bottom, so this one here, you're going to need two dimensionals because it's going to be hanging off the edge of the page, just like that. So that two is going to account for the one that we've got behind here and the one that we've got behind here. So you need just need two. I hope that makes it. You can't even see. You just need two on that one because it hangs off the edge. And then we could go about putting our, you could put some dimensionals at the top or you could just go kind of wing it. I might try and pop one just under here. Um, I'm just on the other one. I didn't even bother. I'll just put some glue down that bottom bit. And then that can kind of sit like that. This one's going to have to come a little bit further down your pumpkin it will tuck in nicely underneath here. You can overlap these cards a little bit. You can have a tiny bit of overlap look like that, but you don't want too much, otherwise it's not going to go in your envelope. So just be mindful of that. And then I've pulled in some Cajun Craze ink. I really like the sentiments on this one. Um, I'm just going to have a look through my stash though to see if I've got a thank you, because I want to try and make a thank you card, I think. I'm looking for the B mine stamp set, not B mine, is it the B the B set? Mm, no, that doesn't have one either. No, not easy by looking, so I will just have to do a uh, the stamp set itself has got a hello. You could do so you are such a blessing as well, but it's not really my I don't really normally say that to people. You are such a blessing. I like a thanks or a thank you. So this is just Cajun Craze. Just got a scrap here of basic white. I'm just going to stamp that down. It's a really nice font, that one. We can just cut that out with snips. I 
I find it quite hard cutting straight lines with snips. Never entirely sure if I achieve a straight line or not. I find it really difficult to tell. Um, and then I'm just going to trim that up just so it matches a little bit down the bottom. But, you know, I figure it's kind of handmade, so it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect. So a couple of dimensionals on the back of that one. And then I've brought in some gold twine. Oh, come on, get off my fingers. I've just had to order some more of this, actually, because I don't, really don't have an awful lot left. Here's a bow. I'm not sure I've got any left, actually. I've got some more coming. Been waiting on Facebook. Should have read the post. Oh, bless you, Wendy. Yeah, I haven't done Facebook Lives for couple of years now bless you oh sorry about that yeah i chill out on them um, on youtube <laughs> so we've just done some coloring some nice nice relaxing coloring you were very patient though wendy <laughs> i will give you that i'd have given up and had a bath i think by now if um <laughs> if i if i'd been waiting all that time and i'm just going to pop that down something like that with a glue dot and then this is just going to overlap ever so slightly i just sometimes think it can be really neat to tie it to kind of hide that bow the actual knot on the bow oh wendy you're not dim at all do you know what it's the weather just blame it on the weather because it's cold it's miserable um i didn't even get out of my joggers last night uh, yesterday i literally got up thought i'm a bit chilly i put my joggers on I didn't go anywhere all day, so I didn't even change out of them. I did quite a lot of housework um, and then just thoroughly enjoyed sitting down with my lunch and watching some TV. And um, I just relaxed, which was lovely for a good hour or so, uh, which is really unusual for me. I don't normally do nothing at all. Um, I'm either crafting or I'm even just playing on my phone, but it was really unusual for me just to sit and watch a show relax and um yes i blame the weather completely so i've just got some of these brushed metallic dots which i think are beautiful and don't kind of get shown enough by me so bring some of those in i probably should be using my take your pick tool but i'm being lazy and it's up high and i don't want to get it down because i don't want to reach and then that one's just going to go in there like that. And that is our finished card. Oh, I've got 45 minutes. I've got 15 minutes to go still. Mistimed this one. Okay, let me think. Um, I, oh, what can we do? What can we do? I've got something, but I don't know if I should show you because I, I'm doing it for swaps. Okay, who's watching that might be at my Uplines team training who doesn't want to see my swap? I know there's a couple of you here, so if you don't want me to do it, shout now while I just move the pens around. Um, but if you don't mind seeing it, I've got a really quick and simple technique for you. I say quick and simple. It won't be by the time I've got everything out. So yes, there's our card. And I just really like that. So beautiful set. You can grab it down on the uh, clearance rack in the UK. So head over to the link in the description below and you will find you will find that there. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Kelly. But honestly, you could just use that layout. I saw the other day with so many different designs. So you could absolutely use that layout with so many designs. It's just literally a, a base card. You don't even need to emboss it. Just a strip of designer series paper and then some elements put on top in that kind of pattern. So thank you guys. Okay, cool. Um, nobody shouted no at me. So let me bring in the snowflakes, I think. And I'll show you a quick, quick and easy Christmas card. Again, not my normal style, quick and easy. Oh, you don't mind, Becky. You've made your sorts. I haven't made mine, so this will be perfect because this is going to get me another four ahead. <laughs> We've got 20 to make, so it's quite a lot. I'm going to use bubble bath, 
fresh freezer, gorgeous grey, and Versamark. And we are going to use sparkling snowflakes. So I'm going to need a couple of blocks. And then the sentiment from Very Best Occasions. You haven't made your swaps yet, Louisa. Oh, bless you. Well, I hope you don't mind me sharing these. If you do, it's a bit late because I've already kind of, I'm committed now. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to grab out the three. I love this set. Um, but I haven't really used it to its full advantage because I've only been using these three. These like are kind of background ones as well. And we've got our sheet of cardstock here. Now, if you wanted to, you could divide this into four. We're going to make a four-way split trio of cards. So let's put that on there, that on there, and then that on there. And we've got Bubble Bar, Fresh Freesia, and Gorgeous Grape. So first of all, I'm going to grab my largest one in the bubble bar. And yeah, you could divide this with pencil if you wanted to, but I am just going to go hell for leather and randomly stamp This might not work. It worked really well last time, but you know how sometimes things are just a bit of a fluke. I've re-inked my bubble bath. It was looking a little bit wishy-washy. And I this is this is looking really random at the way, but I am trying to keep it in a four-way split. So then we can bring in the fresh freezer. And again, you can do this with any kind of card, any design. And we're just going to stamp over. I'm going to try and leave a few little spaces. I think the problem is when I start to overthink it. And um, I just need to go with it. And then we're going to bring in the gorgeous grape. And we're going to stamp a few of those. Again, I'm just trying to leave a couple of spaces because I'm going to go in. I'll explain why. I am going to go in with the um, silver embossing powder. So I've used the darker flat, the darker snowflake for stamp over there. The darker snowflake for the smaller, the darker colour for the smaller snowflake. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. And then we'll go in with the silver and we can always add more of any of those colours should we wish to. So I used the middle flower. At, oh, it's not flower and we use the, the middle snowflake see i'm in summer mode i'm not really in christmas mode yet <laughs> so we are going to just want to clean that off and then we've got the verse mark so i would suggest because we've inked this and we've just inked it ah uh, great minds becky have you chosen purple as well i was going to do 3d swaps but I haven't. I just thought this is really fun. And Lynn showed this at one of our team trainings, like really ages ago. And um, I'd never done it before, so it was quite nice to to do this. I have done it before like this, but I have, don't think I'd done it before she showed it. It was just not really on my radar. And it's great for those cards where you just want to send them out and you don't want to worry about postage or them having taken too long. So this will be great for neighbours or work colleagues or something like that. So we're just going to go over. I am going to need to stamp a few more. I can see already I'm going to have a few gaps, but that's not too much of a disaster. Okay. So now we're going to grab our grid paper, fold it in half, yeah Louisa and I, this is the problem you see, because I don't really do autumn, I, um, I kind of get a bit stuck at this time of year, I haven't got masses of this left but I'm sure it will be fine. 
and I'm just going to sprinkle on the embossing powder. It always feels a bit crazy. Reckless. It feels reckless putting so much on and just emptying your tub out. But if, as long as you do it properly, correct, like you'll be able to get all of this back in that tub. So you should be absolutely fine. As long as you don't have a disaster, like I did once and throw it all over the floor. So I'm just going to blow away any extra. See, I've got a little gap in here, but that's fine. We can go back in with um, probably the bubble bath because it's the lighter one. And a couple over here as well. But we'll heat emboss these and then we'll see how we look. You've got four different colour versions. One, one maybe pink. I'm not saying anything. Okay, what am I going to unplug? Um, let's unplug that. I feel like I need an eight-way adapter underneath my desk. I've got four-way, and I'm always having to unplug something to plug something else in. Oh, Shaz, I hope you can hear me over the noise. If you can't, do ask again. Not that you'll know to ask, because you can't hear me. Uh, but my upline is Emma, Emma Goddard. Love it, Emma Goddard, who ranked fourth in the UK this year, which is amazing. So proud of her. She's an amazing upline. Um, just so supportive, so upbeat, so positive. She can pay me later. She's lovely. <laughs> yeah, she's she's a gem. Absolute gem. Um, she wasn't my original upline. I did move. Um, I just wasn't in the right place. My, my old upline was lovely, but just wasn't in the right place for me, kind of personal development wise. Um, um, which is so helpful. Um, we're still in touch, not as much as I'd like to be, um, but it's just time, isn't it? There's never enough time in the, in the day. Oh, Shaz, are you? Bless you. It's not an easy decision. I don't recommend anybody undertake it lightly, but you know. If it's, if it's right for you, you know in your heart. Okay, so I'm going to chop... Oh, turn that off. Turn itself on as I went and put it down. I'm just going to chop this up and then I'm going to be able to see what I've got left. Okay. Get a 10-way version of an extension. Yes. I want a 10... I think I want a tower. Is that what it says? Tower version. Yeah, that's what I need, Katie, with some kind of um, USB... So we're going to cut this directly in half because I haven't cut this down to begin with. We're going to cut it to 14.85 or 14.9. That's the halfway that way. And 10 and a half is the halfway this way. So already I can see I've not got much around here. This one's looking good. It just needs a bit more up here. So you can start to see where your gaps are. Um, and again, we're going to do 10 and a half. Now we are going to have to chop this down. So this one's going to chop down to 10. So I'm not too worried about that top bit anymore. Might just put a little bit up there. Um, 10 by 14. So which one do I want to chop some off of? 14. Let's chop that bit off there. So we've got one. Oh, a little bit of silver down there. This one we're going to need some quite dramatic infilling on. So let's chop away. This one, 10 by 14. Yeah, let's chop some of this one off the end. Emma God is such a bitch. She is a beautiful lady. That is 100% the right word for it. Yep. So 14. Gosh, that's quite a lot to chop off. Ah, I'm scared. 14 by 10. Blessed to be on the Arsenal team with her. Oh, were you, Kayla? Oh, no, I was on the team this year. It's a bit sad that we weren't on the, on the team for the same years because that would have been amazing. But um, really good to have her around, that's for sure. I'm actually going to chop off this side, I think. I might regret that when I come to put my sentiment on. Let's go for it. 10 
And I'm actually going to, because I'm thinking of my sentiment, I might just chop a little bit off the bottom here, 10 by 14. So that's all of them chopped down to the right size as mats. She honestly, I call, I call Emma a creative genius. I don't know how that woman does it. I don't know how some of the artisans do it, to be honest. I've really struggled with the tip being on the team this year. It's been lovely. I've really loved it. But I've also found it incredibly stressful having to come up with the ideas all the time. I'm just like, I don't know how people do it. Um, so I'm going to grab some fresh freezer and just put that. So now you can start to see how you can infill. That's probably all that one needs. I'm happy with the rest of it. This one, we will put a bit of fresh. Oh, no, that was gorgeous. Great. Hang on, let me clean. Let me clean it. My brain tends to go in cycles with creativity. And when it's in a creative flow, everything seems to work beautifully. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know how to make anything. Nothing's working. Um, I'd be tempted to put another bit of silver somewhere here or just maybe a gorgeous grape, actually. Let's put a gorgeous grape one just in there to bring it together. So that's that one done. This one, I'm going to have a bit of bubble bath just to cover that gap there. And again, we'll bring in another little bit of that gorgeous grape, I think, just there. So you can see how you can now start to fill out your gaps. You could put a bit of fresh freesia in here as well, just off to the side. And then this one is good as it is. So we're happy. So look, this is hopefully going to be four cards in 15 minutes, isn't that? That's going to be perfect for Christmas, right? Again, I wouldn't I wouldn't actually send these to kind of um, like good friends. I like to put a little bit more work into my cards. There's nothing wrong with it, but just for me. So may your, I am doing the swaps, so, but I'm doing it for inspiration, I promise. May your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas merry and your new year bright. But my thought process was I love to give handmade cards to those guys at work. They are all men, however, and I can assure you they do not keep them. Um, and that actually makes me a little bit sad, so... Um, so I don't mind stamping over the, the snowflake there because I'm doing it in gorgeous grape so some of these are going to be landscape cards and some are going to be portrait but you can just stamp your sentiments this is going to go up the top just so it doesn't interact with that one down there there we go and this one here. And now I just need to check which coloured card base I've put them on. So these have gone on gorgeous grape cardstock. And I have done, you'll be surprised to know, because I often don't, I, didn't, I, I try to when I do um, coloured card bases, but I don't tend to do it when I make the cards. So 14 and a half, 14 and a half. I'm gonna need two of those. I've actually decorated the insides and the envelopes as well. Because I thought, you know, if you're gonna make a, a more simple card, it just looks really effective if you can jazz it up and it's a really easy way to jazz it up just by doing the inside and the envelope and it makes it feel that a bit more special so we can score these at ten and a half or just over if you're using my dodgy trimmer ten and a half And then while we've got the trimmer out, we'll want more basic white cardstock. One sheet of this. And trim it down to 10. And 10. You get four of your inners out of one sheet. And I'll, I'll show you how I've decorated those as well. 
really simple. Same stamps, same colours. We are just going to bit of batch stamping going on for us. I'm going to grab the fresh freesia. I don't tend to put darker colours on the inside of my cards because I think it can detract from your sentiment. But we are just going to grab our bubble bath. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Let me just push that up into frame. I'm going to pick our bubble bath up. That one, and then our fresh freesia. And that is our insides done. And I just did the envelopes exactly the same way. So really quick, really simple. And then we can start to set them up. And actually, they really come to life, I think, when you put them on this darker card base. So we'll score all of these. So I, this is where I can end up putting my cards upside down or back to front. And then you just put that on there and look how much, oh, you can't see, sorry. Look, it just really makes it pop, I think. A happy part of your, oh my goodness me. How is that to do with crafting? I don't get to choose the adverts, sadly. I can um, block certain adverts, though. Maybe I should, <laughs> maybe I should be taking a look at that, Shaz. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that in the middle of card making, I don't think. Um, so where you've heat embossed, you can end up with the paper just a little bit warped. So you can sometimes just need to give that a bit of a helping hand down. I haven't even put, oh yeah, I did. I put some gems on these. So there's one and then just any old insert because one way they're going to be that way and one way they're going to be like that. I won't put all of these. To, I might do actually because I don't know. I might do one portrait, one landscape and then... Um, you don't need to see me put the rest of them together, do you? So there's one of our portrait ones. Here's one of our landscape ones. Uh, rather the other way around. Oh, never a dull moment. We say that in the kitchen. We say that in our kitchen as well. I was such a bad cook. Russell was always like, oh, there's never a dull moment with you around. Uh, I was trying to mash sweet potato earlier, but the rest, honestly, the whole di dinner was a complete disaster. The, what you had to do is microwave the sweet potato and then mash it. But I'm like, well, it's still in its skin. How am I supposed to mash it if it's in its skin? So I'm trying to take the skin off a hot, like boiling hot sweet potato. And then some of it was raw because it hadn't been in the microwave for long enough, even though it went in for the right amount of time that it said. Um, so I was trying to take raw, hot potato out of its skin, which was just a disaster. And then we ended up trying to um, kind of just mash them in the skins and then take the skins out uh, later. And then I had stuff all over the floor, sweet potato all over the floor. It was just it was just a disaster from start to finish. You're going to bed, lovely. You are more than welcome. Katie, thank you for hopping on, even though you, you need to be getting some sleep. Safe flight tomorrow. Um, and I hope I hope you get home. OK, good night, my lovely. Um, so these are my two cards. I'm just going to put on some standard gems, if I can find any. Just some normal basic rhinestones. It's going to go on this card. Um, you just wouldn't have used the recipe. Well, I didn't know. I never know until it's, I'm not very good at knowing what's going to work and what's not. Um, and I'm not very good at not following the recipe, as in I don't, I hope I'm not very good at, I don't know what to do if I don't follow the recipe. So, yeah, it, I won't be using it again. That one's now got a big cross next to it. <laughs> yeah, big X next to its name. That one did not work. And we won't be making it again. There we go, just some simple gems. But yeah, I think you can really just jazz up a little card like that. Um, 
that's my that's my kind of infill my filler my card didn't take long enough to make um, I'm going to put the rest of those two together I've now got a very dirty grid mat which I don't like so let's get rid of that a couple of nice Christmas cards potatoes in the microwave for five minutes wrapped in foil cut in half scoop out with suits yes Wendy that would have been lovely um, but yes yeah, so it all went I shouldn't have done really but it all went in the bin I was so frustrated at the end of the meal we didn't eat it I did try and save the cottage pie. I'm going to try and do something with it. I don't know what, but I'm going to try and rescue that. I should have rescued the sweet potato too. But So there's my, my main card. And uh, there is a couple of extras for you as well, just because it didn't take quite enough time. Uh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you so much for joining, everybody. It's been a delight, as always. Thank you for your company. And um, I will see you next Thursday. I don't know what for. I don't know what I'm going to do with you next Thursday. I've got something in mind, but we'll see how we get on, shall we? Yeah, I know, Louisa. It just, I did, and that's all it was, but we just hadn't cooked it for long enough. I tried to cook it in 15 minutes, and it's just, you can't cook a cottage pie in 15 minutes. I've realised it needs longer. It needs a slow cook, like a spaghetti bolognese. And then you need to put it in the oven rather than just 15 minutes on the hob. Well, it didn't even have that, just like 10 minutes on the hob and then chuck it on the plate. No. No, it was a disaster. Oh, Shaz, honestly, I don't mind. I laugh at myself quite regularly. So <laughs> honestly, especially in the kitchen, it's just like a car crash, car crash. I think my mum never taught me to cook. Um, like she was a rubbish cook, bless her heart. Um, and then I joined the Navy. And so I didn't need to learn. And then trying to learn something as an adult is quite hard. Anyway, that's enough for me. I will say goodnight. So <laughs> thanks, everybody, for joining me. And um, I will see you all again next week. Look after yourself. Stay safe in this awful weather. And, uh, yeah, take care. Have a great weekend. No worries. See you later, guys. Bye for now. Bye-bye.